Workplace burnout and support for younger low-wage workers were also raised in Parliament. Labour MP Mohamed Fami Aliman called for the age eligibility criteria for the Workfare Income Supplement Scheme to be lowered to 30 years. The scheme provides a payout to low-wage workers who are 35 and older. Well, I do not discount that we should support our older workers. It does tend to reason that our younger workers may have dependents, such as elderly parents or young children, which can be strained not only financially, but also mentally. Any extra income that these workers received from the WS can make a difference to many families and workers with young children. Highlighting the challenges faced by workers who telecommute amidst the pandemic, MP Melvin Yong said workplace burnout has become an issue as the boundary between home and work blurs. He hopes the upcoming tripartite advisory on mental health will address this by including elements of the right to disconnect legislation which he had previously suggested. Let me reassure critics that I'm not calling for rigid laws that specify working hours, nor am I calling for Singaporeans to be less productive, and certainly not for Singapore to be any less competitive. It is simply about ensuring that our workers have protected time to rest.